At the end of the day, all of us will go broke putting the money up on the screen to make sure that the movie's great um, because that's what we really want. But we we're, we happen to be convinced that you can make great movies, but you can also take care of people and, and let people f feel not only that their work is valued, but that they're paid uh, what they deserve. <laughs> Nineteen eighty four has been a tough year. Our sales are down, our growth is down. Sonny, I brought you in here to grow the basketball business. How are you? Hi. Good, good. How you doing? I'm fantastic, thank you very much. I want to start telling you that it's so cool that a new production uh, company as Artist Equity is taking on this story because Michael Jordan is a big reference of what you guys want to do about giving freedom and profit back to artists. Could you tell us a bit more about how you and Ben hope to change the industry with this take on filmmaking that you guys have started to, to have with Air? We're just, we feel like with all the experience we have making movies that we can, that the kind of economic model that's in place is really archaic and outdated. And we'd like to update it in a way that really sh shares the earning, the profits with the, with the people who make the movie great. And there, you know, and that means pulling some of the people who are traditionally below the line, above the line, um, a lot of your keys and department heads. Really, when you're, when you get down to the business of making the movie, their, their contributions are, are so important that you really want that they're, they're really being undervalued in the traditional model so we feel like we can make movies more efficiently because we know how to save and where and a lot of it is about giving your department heads autonomy to run their own department and run their own budgets and um and 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 trust that uh they're going to make the best possible movie that they can because at the end of the day all of us will go broke putting the money up on the screen to make sure that the movie's great um, because that's what we really want. But we we're, we happen to be convinced that you can make great movies, but you can also take care of people and, and let people f feel not only that their work is valued, but that they're paid uh, what they deserve. And um, thank you for the answer. That was great. And my next question is going to be for Marlon. The biggest take that I got from this film is that sometimes you got to break the rules in order to follow your instincts. So I wanted to know if you have ever been in a situation where all the odds were against you yet you had this big trust or this big hunch on something and you did it following that, that instinct. Every movie I've ever done, every project I've ever done since I got first got in this industry has always been that. It is, it will always be that. We always go off and off about instinct. I mean, I don't care if it was me and my brothers first started doing movies together or if it was when I started doing movies by myself. It doesn't matter what the movie was, but there's don't be a menace. White Chicks, Little Man, Scary Movie, we all, all these movies, to get them done, it's you against the world. And uh, you, you got to believe in your dream at all costs, make it happen. Right. Thank you so much, uh, both of you, for having me and congratulations on the film. I heard you guys had a great time in, in South by Southwest and congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Appreciate it. This story is going to make us want to fly, but the shoe is just a shoe until my son steps into it.